Texas House Speaker Dave Finley is taking a gamble on bringing casinos here. He's been pitching the idea to lawmakers proposing destination-style casinos, which would help our economy by bringing in more jobs and lead to legalizing gambling and sports betting in Texas. But what about Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick? Will he put a roadblock up for this? Representative Ron Reynolds and Jolanda Jones are back here on the Factor Uncensored to discuss this. Now, the Lieutenant Governor says, over my damn dead body. But you have the Governor, you have the Speaker of the House all agreeing. How could he be the roadblock? In the Isaiah, Isaiah, simply put, we have hundreds of thousands of Texans. If you drive down I-10, you see them going to Louisiana. You look at those license plates, they're from Texas. Governor, uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick is hurting Texans' ability to enjoy gambling and hurting our economy. Our speaker is open to it. Our governor has even moved in the direction of being open to it. And Lieutenant Governor Patrick, because he's a, quote, Christian conservative, is not letting us put it to the will of Texas. I guarantee you, and Jelana and I are both in support of it, if we put it to a constitutional amendment so Texans could vote, it would pass overwhelmingly. Why are we continuing to allow people to go to Louisiana and Oklahoma and use and lose millions and millions of taxpayers dollars that, that could be going to Texas for to fund our schools to help our economy to bring jobs to help businesses this is ridiculous lieutenant governor Patrick is out of touch with Texans and he needs to let the people of Texas decide and not be a moral police to stop casino gaming coming to Texas. Now, Representative Jones, could it be that here in Texas we have a $33 billion surplus? We're not hurting for money. Oh, if you want to allocate money to education, you can do it as a state legislature. Why would we need that? Because obviously in Louisiana, other places, there have been individuals who've had gambling addiction, suicide as a result of gambling. And I'm the devil's advocate here. <laughs> of course you the are. The devil is busy. So, so the, the, devil is busy. <laughs> the devil is busy in Austin <laughs> with uh, the lieutenant governor. First of all, who said that if you gamble, you're not Christian, right? Who decided that? Right. He didn't. One, two. You need to tell the Catholic Church. They have I, lots I, of gambling there. I, I, and I was raised Catholic, okay? <laughs> Hell, man, full of grace. <laughs> Bingo but, but, night. But, 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 my, but my point is this. People aren't just going to Oklahoma and Louisiana. They're hopping on planes, going to Vegas. They're going to San Diego. They're going to the Bahamas. They go to the Atlantis. They're going and they're spending tens and thousands of dollars. And big-time gamblers spend even more than that. We can use that money here. What difference does it make that we have a surplus now? We may not have a surplus. And I know people are spending a lot of money. And I know they're spending a lot of money because casinos are paying people to fly to wherever the casinos are and, give, and allowing guests to come in there and feed them because they know if they come there, they're going to spend money. Why not spend it in Texas? Why not cre uh, increase our economy here? So Dan Patrick knows that he controls the Senate, and in order for anything to pass, he's got to pass the House, the Senate, and, the, and then the governor signs it. And he has a vice grip on them. I'm just waiting for the people in the Senate to sort of grow some. Yes. Um, that's what they need to do. Like, what he got on them, right? I, I, I don't understand. So wouldn't the governor be pissed off if I want this? I am the governor of the state of Texas, and here's my lieutenant yes. saying yes. I cannot have it. And here's the civic lessons for your viewers. The governor is deemed the most powerful position, but really the lieutenant governor, because he has more power than the governor in the, in the sense that he can bring bills to the floor. Governor Abbott cannot bring the bill. Go Lieutenant Governor Patrick can kill any bill that the House passes. We can pass the bill tomorrow. And then Lieutenant Governor Patrick says, you know what, we're not even going to have a hearing in the Senate. It's dead on arrival. So he's a very powerful man, and he's put his own will before the will of Texas. Moreover, I'm a part of, I'm a proud Christian. I've had many church groups to take a van as a part of recreation. These are old seniors going to Louisiana to have some fun, recreational fun. There's no addiction there. Sure, there could be addiction in anything. You could do sports betting uh, on football games and basketball games, but you have to be responsible. There is no way we should continue to be the morality police for people. Let them make individual decisions. Stop holding Texans back. Oh. And one thing you said, uh, Isaiah, you said that his lieutenant, so another civics lesson, 
You know how um, President Biden ran with, with Kamala Harris mm -hmm. for president and vice president? That's not they how don't it run is. together. Anybody can run for whatever and right. they win. So there's a misnomer if you think that somehow the governor has power over, there's no allegiance over Dan there. Patrick. None. But Dan no. Patrick, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's an elected office that people really don't pay attention to, yes. but it's super powerful. Super. So I'm asking people to pay attention to who they vote for for a lieutenant governor because in very many ways they are running the state. But like my colleague said, Dan Patrick isn't listening to anyone but Dan Ta Patrick because if he were listening to the voters, then one, he'd allow a constitutional amendment That's to right. get on there so that we could vote on it. Or, But he just is, is power hungry. I mean, he, we, some of us don't go out and we don't vote. And when you don't vote, this is what happens. You have somebody who can actually choose a course for this state that nobody wants but him. All right. Well, he's been here before. We're always welcoming him, him back to The Factor on Censored. We want to thank our guests here on The Factor, State Representative Jolanda Jones and Representative Ron Reynolds. When we come back...